A bizarre and unusual shooting under investigation. The strangest part, the weapon of choice. Tonight, new information on an incident involving several people and the victim getting injured by a bow and arrow. Good evening to you. We have brand new details from the victim himself just in the last hour about this bizarre story. That young man, an 18-year-old high school student, this all happened last night after 8 o'clock on Chester Street off Rosemont Road in Virginia Beach. Tonight, he describes the chain of events leading up to being shot in this most unusual way. Then your side's Brandy Cummings just got off the phone with the victim tonight. Brandy? Yeah, absolutely. Tom Anita, only on 10, we spoke to the victim as he was still in the hospital, still in the hospital room, in fact. Now, we uh, agreed with him to show some pictures of his injuries, but we do want to give this warning to our viewers that some viewers may find these pictures a bit disturbing. 18-year-old Lamonte Perry told us these are pictures of his injuries. He says he has a hole in his back and chest only inches from his heart. According to him, this is what happened last night. He says he was in a car with his girlfriend and another friend on Waverly Drive. He says his friend got out of the car to meet someone, and that's when a group of people tried to jump the friend. He says his friend ran back to his car, got in. Perry drove off. Over the phone from the hospital, Perry described to me what happened next. The next thing I know, somebody pops out the bushes and aims a crossbow with a laser on it at my girlfriend in my car so they shot it but I, it, it hit me cuz I, I jumped in front of it saying there he jumped in front of the crossbow. Now, this is video from the scene. Perry told me he drove here after being shot with the bow. Police telling us the 911 call came from this area on Chester Street just uh, after around 8 o'clock on Sunday night. Perry also confirmed for us today that he's a senior at Green Run High School. He also told me he recently accepted a full scholarship to Bluefield College. Now, we do want to mention that we tried all day to get some specific information from Virginia Beach Police about this case and they are closed now so we will continue working to get more specific information tomorrow when they reopen of course we will continue trying to get details about a suspect as of late this afternoon they told us no one had been arrested for this crime but as we learn more of course we'll pass it on to you for now live in virginia beach i'm brandy cummings 10 on your side all right